Hey everyone. One of the questions I get asked a lot is how do I make these rings? And with that, a lot of people want to know about my shop. Where do I make it? How do I make it? What goes into it? So just want to do a quick kind of shop tour of uh, the manufacturing area. Uh, so it starts with some of my lesser used tools. Those kind of store over here. Um, from there, kind of one of the most important things is my storage area. This has all of the parts, pieces, everything that I need to build a ring. So, you know, up here I've got some uh, headliner foam. This is foam that I use for underneath ring mats. Um, some mailing labels or envelopes and uh, a couple boxes. Uh, I've got a bunch of the metal pieces that are cut down and in storage. I've got some metal bars. These need to get cleaned up, but this is for a 12 inch for six sided ring. These are the 22 inch for the ASR style authentic scale ring. Uh, and just some various wood scrap, metal scrap, uh, things that, you know, just hang on to some leftovers. From there, we've got canvas and fabric. Um, I've got a box of completed aprons and canvases. Um, if I need to cut out more material and then a bunch of scrap material. Save all my scraps. You never know when you need a, a piece of it. Some padding that I wrap up the ring post in when I ship them out. Uh, all the different shot cord uh, elastic rope. There's red, blue, white, two different kinds of yellow and black in there. Once they're cut down, they go into completed. Uh, that's full of completed ready to ship out ropes. Uh, some wood planking that's used for the ring floor. Um, some more fabric stock, um, the iron, some felt, some canvas, a couple of the hand tools. This is a, a hand riveter. This puts in a blind rivet or a pop rivet. This tool puts a nice, perfectly circular hole in a piece of fabric and then you can put that uh, an eyelet into that hole use an eyeliter and then that makes a nice hole that you can thread string through to tie down a canvas and it won't pull out won't mar the uh, the fabric a uh, box full of buckle pads uh, and then kind of my two most important boxes these are the small pieces so for the hell in a cell and some of the stuff on a ring, I've got washers. These are some of those rivets. Uh, a bunch of the small pieces in here. And then the big one. This has every little piece that is needed for a ring. Everything from S-hooks for the posts, the nylon caps that I use on the bottom of a ring post to help protect your tabletop from getting a metal scratch in it. Um, some turnbuckles, screws, some more bigger rivets, the maple button that I use as the dome top on a post. These are the what I use for turnbuckles. Uh, it's a called a barrel swivel. Let me put this in some better light. So it's actually a, a fishing part, um, but it's kind of got an anodized black on it. It looks pretty nice and uh, works pretty well. Very strong too. Uh, these are some of those eyelets I was talking about. So you put this into a hole in the fabric and then this part flattens and rolls outwards and makes a nice hole that's protected inside your fabric. So all those little bits and pieces, they're all in here, constantly running out, constantly having to order more stuff. Uh, from there is my workbench. So I built this workbench. It's just built out of two by fours, a couple four by fours. It's got some storage underneath for tools. I've got a Dremel, my pneumatic air riveter, a belt sander, a miter saw, use that to cut down the metal stock, vacuum. The most important thing, I think, is my drill press. 
Uh, one ring has something like 96 drill holes in it, and trying to do those with a hand drill would be impossible. So this gets used a lot. Uh, some of the different hand tools that I have, um, you need pliers, screwdrivers, hand files, you know, a lot of different things to get a ring post. You can see how marred up, up these are, how much I use them. Square, some cutting, uh, a lot of different clamps. Clamps are used a lot for holding things, um, especially these square clamps. You can put a bar in here and a bar in here, and it makes a perfect 90 square. And then you can put a drill hole in there to hold it. I use this a lot when I uh, make the cages. Uh, from there, there's a couple different lights. Uh, always need extra light. Uh, I also have my work table. Uh, this is four foot by eight foot. I also built this. This allows me to take an entire bolt of fabric, lay it out. I can iron it. I can get it cut down. Uh, a couple different cut mats. I have got a, a small one and then a really big one that will fit uh, a canvas on top of it and I can cut. Um, a couple different projects that are in various states of build, and then the uh, ring that I just completed that needs to get boxed up and shipped out. Uh, lastly, I have my table saw under here, as well as my air compressor. Uh, table saw gets used quite often. Air compressor would be really hard not to have one of those trying to build a, a cage or a hell in a cell. So, uh, that is the workshop. If you have any questions, please let me know. Thanks.